best way to send a message is through force. That's the idea behind Operation Hostile Takeover. After rounding up all of the top gangster disciples in Cook County Jail, authorities are taking the last phase of their operation to the streets. We have one city radio to each sergeant's car. Three teams are going to Area 1, three teams are going to Area 2. Zero tolerance, everybody goes to jail. Not only are the key players feeling the squeeze inside the jail. You're under arrest, big boy. We go. Now their blocks are feeling it too. Uh, the sheriff's gang units, together with Chicago police, are making a massive sweep of the city's west and south sides. Our goal is to target the gangster disciples in the communities they live. Hey, it's in the car. So the more problems you cause for us inside the institution, we're going to cause conflict for you guys on the street. We're going to go to jail for everything. Whether it's public intoxication, driving on a suspended license. They're going to go to jail for everything. You've never been in no game. Never in your life. So when I run your name, it's going to come back and it's going to say you've never been in a game. You hang out with the GDs? Police drive their message home by racking up 68 arrests over two days on Gangster Disciple Turf. Like I was telling you guys earlier, it's because of the GDs and one and that. But on some blocks, the gangster disciples have a message of their own to send. Pretty much the letter speaks for itself. You have the CPD, which is Chicago Police Department, and, and the K is just for killers. Right now, the group of guys that are coming up, I attribute and relate it all to like a video game. You know, they think they could hit the button and get four more lives. You don't. Once you ruin this one, it's wrong. While the street operation is in full swing, an alleged gang member shoots and injures two Chicago officers. It happens in a neighborhood that's not part of the sweep, but the impact is just the same. The mayor told us today, hey, when you're out in the city, be careful because they're not afraid to shoot the police. Prime example. Both officers are lucky to be alive. Each was grazed in the head by gunfire. A citywide manhunt ensues, yet the shooter evades capture for now. You've seen how many police officers that was out there? We're not going to lose, and we're not going to fight fast, so... We gonna win, period. Three days of jail and street sweeps, investigators Sandoval and Carpenter faced a real test to find out whether the operation worked. What their sources are telling them is good news. The gangster disciples' civil war is now over. The two sides have finally agreed to share power as a result of police pressure. This had to be the end of it, this operation. That's the whole point of it was to end the nonsense. And right now it's ended. Sandoval and Carpenter welcome the outcome and move on to the next potential threat. For one thing, they've still got Antoine and his ATG followers on the compound. He said it's not a new game, it's a movie. And that's what it is. It's sort of like a ball movie. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be easy just to turn keys and give them their food. But then you're not helping law enforcement in general. You gotta be willing to uh, go an extra step. We're out there all the time. We're running on tears. These guys got knives. You could ask life insurance agency. There's a reason why our policies are always a lot higher. The bottom line to it is, this life and death situation has that potential every single day. You're going to a place where stuff happens. Whether you want it to or not, something could happen.
So you got to make the most of that when you leave your house and kiss your kids. Tell the people you love, you love them. You know, because unfortunately, it could happen to you. You know, so you have to take advantage of that. To me, I keep that in my mind every day when I come to work. That's why most of the time when you meet people in corrections, it's a small, tight-knit group. Great job out there, guys. Those guys can only understand what happens in here. This is the bond. We're all together. You know, we have each other's back. We've always been there for each other. That's the most important part of it.